Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hi! And I've got two view-related bits here that I'm going to show you. The first, here, let me create a couple objects first. Shifty, shifty. And I'm going to just hit C to switch to wireframe to make it easier to see on the videos. And uh, the first one is aligning the view to an object. And what that means is, for example, let's say we rotate it like this. I've got this object selected. And I'm going to uh, switch this so that we're looking at the local uh, axes for the object. Okay, and then I hit the star key on the number pad. Mm -hmm. What that does is it lines the view to the currently selected object, which in this case now we're looking down at the, t the top again. Now the reason I showed the uh, local axis is let's say that we just we had rotated this object to some other axis. So if I go back to our normal top view you can see that's rotated. But if I hit the star key, we've just aligned our view to so that I, object. So, so, it, so it comes back to the side so that it doesn't look all twisted and stuff, right? Well, what we're doing is when you're aligning to the view, we're looking down the z-axis of the object. Not the global z-axis, but the local z-axis. Right. Now, this cube is called cube.001, so I'm going to show you another tip real quick, too. And that's, under View Properties, you can do View Locking. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say cube.001. And notice how the screen moved as soon as I did that. Now, for the life of me, I cannot pan, the, pan around the screen. This object, cube 001, will always be in the center no matter what I do, which can be handy. Uh, and you can use this in conjunction with the uh, aligned view, hitting the star on the number pad. You work on an object? Mm -hmm. So I thought those were two sort of esoteric view-related commands that we could do a bit on. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. See ya.